All right, y'all. You know, we've stuffed ourselves at the, during the holidays, but I still want some fried chicken. And I know I shouldn't be cooking fried chicken, so I'm going to do it air fryer style because that really does, you know, save a lot of fat that you won't be getting. So I am using my Paula Deen fried chicken coating. And if you don't have any, you can use your flour. Uh, it just won't be seasoned, you know, the way this one is. And I've got three eggs and I've got my Paula Deen hot sauce, which is so, 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 so good. You know, I met uh, at a book signing up there in Nashville. Do you remember that young woman coming through and saying she brought me a, a bottle of hot sauce? So, and how many did she say she had ordered I within? I don't remember, but oh, she, like must, she must put it on. No, it was more than that. Yeah, she must put it on it, every It was like a hundred <laughs> bottles oh she had bought in a short period of time. Yeah. But she was such a huge fan of that, and I got a real kick out of that. So I've got my three eggs. I'm going to beat up. And the recipe may appear a little different from what I'm sharing with y'all, but that's all right. That's all right. Because, uh, you know, it's all about doing it to, seat your t to suit your tongue, your palate. All right. So Is it, that enough? We have more hot sauce. No, that, that'll be fine. Mm -hmm. And it's not, uh, it's not in this recipe. But we have always put some water in with our hot sauce and our eggs. And, you know, the funny thing, that just looks like it would be so hot, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But it's not. Right. So, no, the heat cooks out of it. But it leaves a flavor like you're wondering, where did that come from? What is that? So, all right, now I've got my flour right here. Now, I highly recommend if you're going to cook fried chicken for dinner that uh, you get your chicken and you season it earlier in the day and put it in the refrigerator and then pull it out when you're ready to start the, the cooking process. So I have my chicken that I seasoned with a little house seasoning and it's been sitting in the refrigerator. So, I'm going to uh, put this in our hot sauce for it to start soaking. And I like for mine to sit for a while in this. Now, I'm going to show you something else. Thighs. Thighs are the thick, dark meat. And it takes longer to cook than your breast meat. So, that's that thigh bone. And I'm going to pop it. I just popped it just like that because this is the last part to get done. So I popped that thigh bone so it would open up. Okay. And I'm a firm believer in using the best brand of chicken that you can find. So I'm not opposed to this sitting in this uh, combination of eggs uh, hot sauce and a little water. I'm not opposed to it sitting 30 minutes to an hour. I would just sit it back in the refrigerator and let it sit until you're ready to cook it because you know you're just going to get the flavor on the outside instead of going inside that chicken. So that's what I would do. But you do what works for you. All right. So I would love to. Uh, I scrubbed my hands so good. I'd love to not get my, my hands back in that chicken. So I'm going to try. Okay. And then we just. Want to shake off the excess. And my air fryer is just like uh, any oven. It 
it cooks hotter in some spots. I found it cooks hotter in the front than in the back. So I'm going to um, put our thighs in front. Because remember, our thighs will take the, take the longest cooking of any of it. So the next pieces that take the longest, like I said, it's the dark meat. And the, egg, the legs are our dark meat. And I've gotten where the older I get. You know, I, I love the wing. I love the thighs. I love the leg. But just, just in the last couple of years, I really, really dig a chicken leg. Might be my favorite. Okay. I can get one more piece in there. So I think I'll do the biggest breast. And this is definitely the bigger of the breast. Want to make sure everything's coated. And, you know, every time I'm out in the restaurants, people have told me a hundred thousand times that our chicken is the best chicken they've ever tasted. And of course, that makes me real happy because we have used this same formula for chicken, frying chicken since I was in the best Western in starting in 1991. We have not changed our recipe. I say even share it with everybody. <laughs> Somebody said, why are you telling your recipes? I said, because it's not always convenient to do this at home. And if you're starving and you want it quick, folks know where they can find me. So here we go. Now we're going to spray this real well because that will help us with the crispiness and help it with the browning. So I can't tell you how long to put this in for. I will just be keeping my eyes on it. And I'm going to put it on 400. And I'm going to put it on for at least 20 minutes. And then I'll turn it, spray it, and cook it some more. Okay, y'all, our chicken is looking so good. I've cooked this for 20 minutes. Now I just want to turn it over. And I want to do it gently so nothing will get, won't lose any crust. All right, so I'm going to want to spray that because it just makes all the difference in the world in it being crispy or not. Now, before we serve this, I'm going to want to take my, my thermometer that I trust. You know, it's a good one. Uh, I, want, I will check the temperature of these with my meat thermometer before I actually serve them. So I'm going to run it for 20 more minutes. So that will be 40 minutes. And, but I will be checking on it sooner than that. Uh, but I think 20 minutes will. I might turn up that temperature just a little bit because I can. Because this one goes to 430. It's now been like 30 minutes. So I'm going to check it. Now you want to make sure that, that you test the dark meat first. Uh oh. I'm oh, and it's done. It's way done. Look at all that beautiful chicken, y'all. I can't hardly wait. I can't hardly wait. Now, come on, I'm going to turn that all the way up because I just want that skin to get crispy again. 
and I'm going after my favorite piece. I was going to say, can we eat though? You know, yes. For come pieces? get your yes. Come get your favorite piece. Just favorite please don't let it be piece. two legs. <laughs> uh huh. And our coating good. This is so much easier than trying to fry it in. Absolutely, and healthy on your stove. Way yeah. Healthy. Uh huh. Like I said earlier. Mm. Look at that. Heat. I know. Mm. 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 I hope y'all have enjoyed this video as much as Teresa and I enjoying this fried chicken. And uh, if you're thinking about getting an air fryer, I would highly recommend this air fryer. It is so good, and it does everything it tells you it'll do. And goes up to 430 degrees. Yeah, 430 degrees, which I love. Okay. Out you come. Oh, um, you know Eddie's water's mouth. I know his water. his, his water's mouth and. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So they usually just said bye, y'all. <laughs> have a mouthful. Love and best dishes. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.